today I'm going to share how I make a really juicy baked turkey or you can say roasted turkey and this is one of the juiciest turkeys ever like I put it into a brine and I left it for a few hours to soak up all that flavor and then I baked it so I'm going to share this recipe with you guys I like to eat mine with pepper sauce you can eat it with chow chow just like how you eat ham and I'm going to share two recipes one for baked ham and one for baked turkey so if you guys want to see how I do this, then keep watching. Let's start off by making a brine for the turkey. I have my turkey defrosting or thawing out in the sink. And I'm going to show you guys the ingredients I'm going to use to brine it. And by brining it, you hold a lot of the moisture in it and it gets the turkey really nice and moist and juicy. And usually turkey is extremely dry. So I like to brine the turkey because I hate a dry bird. So all the exact measurements I'm using here will be listed in the description box below. So go check that out to find the exact list of everything I'm using with the measurements. I have some garlic. I have a very little piece of scorpion pepper. This is a lot of heat. So I'm just using a very little piece just to give a little heat to the turkey. I have some rosemary, some bandana, shadow benny, culantro or ricao, some brown sugar, salt, some bay leaves, this is cinnamon leaves, I can't find the bay laurel leaves. I have some apple cider, vinegar, a lemon and an apple. So to make the brine I have a big pot of water that I put on about medium low heat and I just want it to come up to a nice little boil and then I'll add all the ingredients. Once everything's mixed in, I will turn the heat off and then I'll cool it down with some ice. And some things I forgot to mention were some orange juice, a cinnamon stick and some black peppercorns if you have or I'm going to use some ground black pepper. So to start off, I'm going to add all the ingredients to my hot water. all these flavors to marry together and you want the sugar and the salt to dissolve but I'm just gonna let this go for about five minutes I just want it to come up to a nice boil and then I'm gonna do a really quick cool down method where I'm just gonna add some ice to it or you can just leave it to cool outside and then put it in the fridge but we can't add the turkey to a hot brine so as soon as this comes up to a boil then we will Go ahead and add the ice. So the brine has come up to a boil. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to start adding some ice to it to cool it down so that I can place the turkey in it right away. So you want to just add enough ice until it's nice and cool. Not room temperature, but a little cooler than room temperature. And as soon as you hit that temperature, then you can add your turkey in. So I added about five cups of ice, this big cup, and I'm just going to leave it to sit at room temperature for a while and when it cools down, then I'll add the turkey to it. But if you wanted, you could do this the day before and you can put it in the fridge to sit and when you're ready to use it, it'll be nice and cool. So my turkey is fully defrosted. Now what I did was I just pulled the clamp open and I pulled the giblets and everything out from the cavity. And I just put the clam back on because I'm going to put it in this bucket. I have this big ice cream bucket. So I'm going to put the brine in there with the turkey. So now all you have to do is add your turkey to the bucket and then add the brine. So I have my dad helping me pour the brine in. the turkey you're gonna cover it and put it in your fridge or you can leave it outside if you're gonna cook it later if you're gonna bake it later I'm gonna leave mine out and I'll bake it in about five to eight hours 
So after about 10 hours now you want to open up your bucket and take your turkey out and you want to just rinse out all that brine with some cold water. You can just rinse it with some tap water just once it's not too warm. So you want to wash inside that cavity really well and then bring it and put it onto the tray that you're going to bake it on. So once you've washed the turkey really well and like everything that's in the cavity is out of there and it's clean and nice. Now we're going to stuff it and I have a mirepoix here which is celery, onions and carrots. And I just cut the carrots into long strips so I just cut it into like four long strips. I have some thyme, some rosemary, some melted butter with some rosemary as well. And I'm not going to add any extra salt to this because the butter is already salty and as well as the brine that it was sitting in for the past 10 hours. So all I'm going to do now is just stuff the cavity with all the onion, the thyme, the rosemary, celery, carrots. And I actually have it breast side up right now. That's just because I want to be able to stuff it easily but I'm gonna put it to bake breast side down for the first hour and a half and then I'll turn it. So once you've stuffed the cavity with everything now you're gonna turn it and put it breast side down. And now you're just going to take a little bit of your melted butter with rosemary and brush the entire turkey with it. Well, of course you can get the part that's sitting onto the tray, but just try to get as much as you could. So once you're finished brushing it with that melted butter and rosemary, you're going to cover it really tightly with some foil because you want to get all the steam to stay in there and you want all those flavors to kind of absorb into the turkey. So we're going to cook it with the foil over it for an hour and a half and then I'll open it up and let it roast and get nice and crispy. So we're going to place it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about an hour and a half and then we will take it out and flip it and add more butter. So I just took the turkey out of the oven and I'm just going to remove the foil from around it. And I'm going to put it back into the oven for about the next 45 minutes. And I'll take it out and then I'll turn it. So it's been another 45 minutes now and as you can see it's starting to turn very nice and brown and crispy on the outside because I left the foil off. I left it open in the oven. So now I'm going to flip it breast side up and put it back to bake. So once you flip it, you want to add some more of that melted butter. You can add oil actually at this point because this is the last time we're going to take it out of the oven. So you're going to add all your butter and then put it back into the oven for the next hour or hour and 15 minutes and then at that point it should be ready. So once your pop-up timer has popped up, then it's ready and it's been about an hour I would say and it's perfect now so I took it out of the oven and now I'm gonna slice it up and show you what it looks like so I don't know if you guys could see how nice and moist it is on the inside it's really really juicy as I said brining turkey is the way to go I think usually when you just do a regular baked turkey it turns out really dry and by brining it it holds a lot of the moisture into the turkey so you end up with a nice juicy moist turkey so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe leave me all your comments down below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to see all my latest videos and I will see you guys in my next one bye and happy new year to everyone